Hi everyone, welcome to this video looking at what happens when alcohols such as ethanol are exposed to air. Right, as you may well know, alcoholic drinks contain ethanol. But what you may not know is that when wine, for example, is opened, the ethanol gets turned into a carboxylic acid called ethanoic acid or vinegar. It does this by reacting with the oxygen in the air and we say that it has been oxidized. This happens because the ethanol, which has the formula C2H5OH, collides with the oxygen, O2, in the air and removes two hydrogens from the carbon that is attached to the hydroxyl group. One of the oxygens forms a double bond, which makes your carboxylic acid, which is called ethanoic acid and has the formula CH3COOH. The two hydrogens that have been removed react with the remaining oxygen, forming water as your byproduct, H2O. Now the beauty with this mechanism is that it's the same for all alcohols. So if you had methanol, CH3OH, it would still react with the oxygen, this time forming methanoic acid, HCOOH. And that is how carboxylic acids are formed from alcohols. This is also why fermentation needs to be anaerobic, no oxygen, or it turns into vinegar. So let's see a practice exam question. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll mark it when you're done. Okay, let's go through the mark scheme. Question one, what happens when propanol is exposed to air? It becomes oxidized, which gives you one mark. How does this happen? Oxygen collides with propanol, removing two hydrogens, and that would be enough for your second mark. On to question two. Now, if you can't remember how to work out the formula of different alcohols, there is a video in the top right appearing now. So check that out. For now, monkeys eat plastic bananas, plastic three, so I've got three carbons. So my formula for propanol is C3H7OH. I'm reacting with oxygen, which is diatomic, O2. What are we going to form? Propanoic acid, which has the formula C2H5COOH. And then finally, what's the byproduct? Water, H2O. And that's it. Your first mark is for the complete word equation. The second mark is for the left-hand side of the arrow on your balanced equation. And the final mark is for your right-hand side of the arrow. So, how did you do? Let me know in the comments below, and if you're up for it, I have got a review question for you. Have a go, and the answers are in the description below. Hi guys, hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, please click on like, and please subscribe to my channel. If you've already done that, please share with your friends, share with your teachers, any way that's going to help me. I've also got a website with loads of videos that can help you and there's also my latest video appearing on the screen now. Thanks for watching.